Hello, I'm Kivi Larmola, a comics artist, originally from Finland and lately from UK and France and Italy and Germany and now living in Estonia. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my latest graphic novel, The Sindjeli, now out in Estonian language. Uh, raamatud nimega Sinel, mis on vabavormiline adaptsioon Google sama nimelisest novellist. I had of course read Sinel at school, like everyone else, but the flowery style of Gogol had sort of given me an idea that this was a story about Gogol. Now, Gogol himself, he was a young man when he wrote Sinel. He was 20 years of age, strong and cocky, like 20 year olds are. His main character, Akaki, was elder, more of my age. So Gogol mocked Akaki, telling how old and grey and boring he was. And my sympathies were on Akaki's side, so I wanted to tell the story from Akaki's angle. I started collecting things that Akaki might have seen, thinking of experiences he might have experienced. Now Gogol placed the story in his own past, 18th century, when St. Petersburg was brand new, just turning from a Karelian village into a European city. The details the story was talking about were then still just imagination and the Neva Swamp, a big construction site. It works as a written story, but it was impossible to show it on a graphic novel, and comics is an art of how to show, not tell, and to let the reader imagine details for every drawing. So what I did was I transferred the story closer to its publishing time, 1840s, actually closer to 1860s because that's a very familiar era for all of us, with many of the era's furnishings still around us and the rest documented by the newly invented photography. We have seen the details and can fill in the missing parts in our heads, become part creators. I travelled and read history a lot while constructing the story in my head, and wherever I met something I felt Akaki could meet, I tested whether that could be part of the story. Many things in the narrative come from something that Gogol just mentioned. Akaki living in his dreams and finding satisfaction in beautiful calligraphy, I felt Akaki would travel in his mind with the letters and have little adventures with calligraphy as his super skill to help him on the way. The next problem, of course, was financing the work and getting it published. I had a book publishing contract in Finland, so that was taken care of, but as in Estonia, the books alone bring very little money in, unless you're hugely popular and sell millions internationally. However, Ville and Olli, at the main newspaper in Finland, Helsingin Sanomat, they had faith in me and we agreed that I'd make a shortened version to start running in the paper on the commemorative year 2009, when Gogol would have been 200 years old, if still alive. I knew I'd have to work the 20-page short version into a 64-page graphic novel, at the same time it was running in the newspaper. So I designed the frames so that I could convert the four-row pages into three-row pages and return everything I'd have to leave out in between. I divide the story into four chapters for coloring. Akaki's time before the overcoat, with the overcoat, again without the overcoat, and the time when he's dead. Each chapter got its own color palette, has got the special moments, Akaki's childhood and the Africa sequence. After the initial drawing stages in England, my wife Sanna and I travelled to Oulu, Finland, to do the coloring in peace. It was a very hot summer, and our laptops started overheating. We had to keep the computers on frozen vegetable bags and cold beer cans to chill them enough to work. We, Sanna and I, did the coloring entirely in digital domain. I sketched several pages first in watercolor, but didn't like the result. I felt that Akaki had to have flatter colors, and the colors of the overcoat had to stay constant through the entire process. One fancy trick I've used was to have the speech bubbles, gutters and edges of the page light blue, so that anything which is truly white will stand out even more. Also, by selecting a right third color, you can make just any two colors match nicely to each other, thus by changing the background colors, Akaki's coat can stay the same and still look like it's night or like it's day. The black lines are drawn 
with a round nib dip pen, a brush and an art pen BB, the one which used to be one of my favorite tools until they stopped manufacturing them just as I'd grown to love it. That happens to me all the time. With the computer at hand, I'd however started to correct my drawings in digital. The professionals here will probably recognize the techniques used. Everybody else, please, just enjoy the result. By the way, my favorite scene in the entire book is the good cop, bad cop routine played by the chief of police alone. That must have been the most difficult part of storytelling I've ever encountered, and I sincerely hope that none of you will ever have to experience that in real life. Even when I was drawing the story back in England, I had a dream of getting it published in Estonia. I was very curious whether people would find the characters believable and whether you, the audience, would appreciate my interpretation. It appears I must have done something right and for that I thank you.